Good everyone, you're watching Ready Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Windows Update KB5062553 not installing in your Windows 11. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step to resolve this issue is to make sure you have your Windows installer up and running. To do this, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. And in the run window, you may go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. This should take you to the services window. Once you're on the services window, locate for Windows installer. Do a right click and then click on properties and check the service status. In case if the service status has been set to stopped, click on start. Wait for the Windows installer service to run. Click on apply and then click on OK and then click on restart again for the Windows installer services. Close this window and then try to check if you are able to install the Windows update. Now this should fix the problem. Now in spite of all this step and if you are not able to install the updates, the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and restart the essential services for your Windows. To do this, you will have to open the services app. So you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run and in the run window you may go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. This should open the services window. Once you're on the services window, you will have to go ahead and locate for Windows Update Services. You can do a right click and then click on Properties and make sure your startup type is being set to automatic. So you can click on the drop down in case if it has been set to manual or disable. Make sure it has been set to automatic. Click on apply. And then if you have an option to click on start, you may click on start. Click on OK. Once this is done, you may go ahead and click on restart the service. Once this is done, the next thing what you will have to do is you will have to look for background intelligent transfer services or you can call it as bits. It would be in alphabetical order. You can do a right click, select the background intelligent transfer service, do a right click and then click on prop properties. Once you're on the properties, make sure the startup type is being set to automatic and then click on apply and then click on OK. Once that is done on the top left corner, you may go ahead and click on restart so that the background intelligence services restarted once this is done the next thing what you will have to do is you will have to locate for app readiness do a right click and then click on properties make sure you choose the startup type as automatic click on apply and then click on start click on ok and then on the left hand side you will see an option to restart the service click on that once this is done you may close this window and then try to Check if you are able to install the updates by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on settings and then go to the windows update on the left hand side and then click on check for the updates and see if there are any updates to be installed and go ahead and uh, try to install those updates, restart your computer and that should fix the problem. Now, In spite of this, if you are still facing a problem, next thing what you could do is you can go ahead and run the windows update troubleshooter. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you will have to go ahead and click on system. And then on the right hand side, you will have to locate for troubleshoot. Click on troubleshoot and then click on other troubleshooter. Here you will have you will have to locate for Windows update troubleshooter. In case if you have used this troubleshooter in the past, it would locate under most frequent. Otherwise, it would listed under other. So click on run. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the screen. Once these instructions has been followed and the Windows Update Troubleshooter has been executed, you can close this window, restart your computer and then try to install the updates and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method is to go ahead and manually install the update via Microsoft Update Catalog. To do this, you will have to open the browser. Once you're on the browser, you will have to go ahead and visit the Microsoft Update Catalog website. I will mention this link in the video description. Once you're on this website, you will have to go ahead and locate for the KB article. So search for the KB article which you're not able to install. In this case, we are not able to install the KB article 5062553. So 
type the KB article here and click on search. Now you will see the best match for the KB articles. Under this, you will have to go ahead and choose the appropriate update. Click on download and it will give you a prompt to download and then choose the respective file from the list here. It will start the download. Once the download is complete, double click on the file and that should execute the update and try to installing the update by itself. Once this is done, you may go ahead and restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method to resolve this issue is to, you will have to go ahead and reset the Windows components on the computer. To do this, you will have to open the notepad on your computer. So you can go to the search and then type notepad. You will see the best match for the notepad. Once you have the notepad open on your computer, you will have to copy the command or the text from the video description. I will mention this in the video description. All you have to do is you'll have to copy it and paste it on your notepad. Once you have pasted this file on the notepad, you will have, you will have to go ahead and save this file as .bat file extension. So you can go click on file at the top left corner and then click on save as. Once you get a prompt to save, this file as save as option. Choose the save as type as all files and then change the file name with an extension as Windows Update. This file name can be anything of your choice, but it has to have an extension dot BAT and then click on save. Once this is done, you may close this window and then go back to your desktop. You can do a right click on the start button and then click on file explorer and then navigate to the desktop and you will see the location or you will see the file name which is windows update.bat all you have to do to execute this file is you will have to do a right click and then click on show more option once you have show more option you will have to choose the option which says run as administrator and then click on yes this will go ahead and stop or restart couple of windows component basically it will try to reset the windows update component on the computer you will have to wait about a minute or two or maybe max five minutes it depends it also depends on the speed of the computer once the all the file has been executed you may close this window also close this window restart your computer and then try to install the windows update by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on the settings and then you may click on windows update you may go ahead and check for the updates and that should definitely resolve the problem now in spite of all this step and if you're still not able to install the updates the other step what you could do is you can use fix problem using windows update which is a repair install to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings, you may go ahead and click on Windows Update. Once you're on the Windows Update on the right hand side, you will have to go ahead and click on Advanced Option. Click on Advanced Option and then look for Recovery. Click on Recovery. Here you will have an option which says Fix Problem Using Windows Update. You may go ahead and click on Install Now and check the box which says Automatically Restart My PC. 15 minutes after the installation click on ok follow the step by step instructions on the screen now during this process your computer might restart couple of time wait until reboots and come reverts back to the desktop and uh, that should resolve this issue so in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.